Hey, welcome back to the channel. And uh, I will ask before we get started to please subscribe to the channel. I was looking at some analytics for my channel and I see that about 80% of the people who watch my videos don't subscribe. So if you can subscribe, very much appreciated. But in this video, we're gonna look at uh, a technique for light painting and it's really light painting the interior of a car. And uh, I was wondering if there was a cheaper way to do light painting. What I usually do is uh, I use the Ice Light 2, which is uh, a fantastic tool. It's very expensive though. And these are under the counter, um, under the counter lights, under the cabinet. Uh, they're magnetic. They stick to a magnet that comes with it. They come with a little USB charger. And um, if you look at this, this uh, the white light is pretty bright. So I wanted to see if there was a way that we could light paint uh, the interior of a car using just this tool. Uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to use my car. So uh, my Z4M that we have here uh, in Canada. It is uh, super cold in February, so can't take the car anywhere. Uh, but the cool thing about being in the garage and shooting this is that uh, the light, the light is controlled. I can make it as dark as possible, uh, as dark as I want, and I can light without any distractions, any wind. I don't have to worry about a thing. All right, and here's the uh, the light I was referring to. This is the Canadian link on Amazon.ca, but you're uh, able to get these uh, on Amazon.com. Um, so take a look. These are the white lights. You can get a, uh, a warm light. Make sure you pick up the, uh, the white one. Um, and as you can see, they are USB charge. They are metal, they have a metal base. They're very well built, so it's a, it's a pretty cheap option. So here's the uh, the photos here. So the first step is what I'm doing is I'm um, marking a couple of the exposures here and you can see they're marked. Uh, I'm just using the five. I'm hitting the number five to give them a five star. So I remember which ones I want to blend in. Now I'm going to start with these ones. I don't know if I need any of the others, but uh, taking a quick look, this pretty much covers all the exposures that I need. So we'll take it into Photoshop. So we'll edit and open in layers as in Photoshop. And we'll start with the layers and what I'm doing here is I'm just going through and I'm turning each one on and off to see which exposure is which. And I'm going to rename and just for my own reference so I know which ones uh, I'm working with here. And after we're done uh, with the name, we're going to probably move some of these layers around, but uh, I want to get an idea of what I have so far. And there is the, uh, the info for the photos that I had taken, 13 seconds. Uh, for the exposure at 100. ISO, of course, F13 is what I selected for this. Now let's change the blend mode. We're gonna change the blend mode to lighten for all of these layers. Uh, the brightest one here, which I need for the speedometer, I'm gonna move this to the bottom. We'll kind of start with that one. So on and off, just taking a look, seeing which ones I'm gonna to have to delete, which ones I'm gonna to have to mask out. And we'll add a mask. We're gonna probably add a mask to each one of these layers. And let's just paint out this light here. This is pretty easy. So uh, let's get rid of this particular light here on and off to take a look. I don't want this near the seat, the driver's seat. And we're just looking around, making sure the light spill is gone where I didn't want it. The steering wheel looks good. There's a, there's a little bit I may want to delete. And we're going back and forth. Now this layer here, um, this is kind of the top of the steering wheel. You can see a little bit on the seat. I do like that. So let's mask and we'll take out this top here. Don't need this. And it's kind of on the windshield here. So we need to take this out. Now this lighting is from the outside. So there's uh, a reflection on the windshield. And here is most of the, uh, the seats and the, uh, the passenger door. So we'll mask out uh, what's on the top here. It's a little too much. I may want to bring some of that back, but let's just get rid of that. You can always um, delete the mask if we need to. And some of this seat, let's get rid of that. I like the, uh, the little bit of reflection that's on it here. So I'm going to leave that. And it's looking pretty good so far. Probably a little bit more. I may want to take, oh, that's the wrong one here. Let's flip that over. Uh, make sure the uh, the rearview mirror is kind of masked out and nice and dark. 
And we're gonna add a layer here to this one. And we're just gonna call this background because the background as you can see is my garage, the interior of my garage. I'm gonna to wanna to take that out. So um, what I'm gonna do now, this wouldn't probably be an issue if you were doing this outside, you probably have a better background. But I'm using the pen tool and just tracing around the outside and I'm just gonna fill this in with black. So we'll make a selection. I could fill with black, it's easier. It's just as easy to me. I'll just take a brush here, uh, make the brush black and there we go. Let's paint that. That's the first step there. And we'll back this off. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna speed through this, but we're gonna make a selection around the windshield and the side window as well. So just quickly going through, making a selection with the pen tool, making sure I get as close as possible to these edges. And we'll select this around here. And we will close the selection. Right click, and we'll feather that to point two. And we'll do the same here with the side. I could have made all these in one selection, but I wanted to see how they were looking before I masked it. So I'm just doing these separately, no big deal. But you can easily make uh, more than one selection and then just uh, select over it to get them all at once. And there we go. Now with the background, if you do have a, uh, a dark background, if you have a cityscape uh, at night, you can definitely add that, see what that looks like. You could add some stars, uh, some light reflections. There's a variety of things you could do, but for this particular example, I just want to fill them in with black, uh, really concentrate on the abilities of what you can do with this small light that's under the cabinet light for the, uh, the interior. Now the speedometer I'm gonna bring back and I just wanted to blend that in and I did need to use a little level adjustment just to make sure that looked correct. And the final thing I'm gonna do is a slight crop. So there you go, and that's it. And that's pretty much what you can do with a small $20 light. The answer is yes, you can light paint. Uh, with this controlled environment, it's a lot easier. Um, it isn't the strongest light possible, so you may just have to use a, a longer exposure to get really a nice light uh, around the section that you're looking to light inside the car. Uh, I'm gonna try this probably in the spring and the summer when the weather is nicer and I can get outside and do some light painting. I'm gonna see how these work with uh, light painting the exterior of a car. Um, obviously, much bigger surface, it may be a little more difficult, the light may not be enough, but uh, later on in the year, we'll take a look and see if we can use that uh, particular under the cabinet light to light the outside of the car as well. So until then, see you in the next video. A real good time